Hey Jeff, how's it going? It's Will. Sorry it took so long to get you this video. I made it uh, once and then the computer didn't save it. And then I made it again. And there was a problem uploading it because it was too big of a file. So I'll make it this time and make sure I get it done. So um, there's going to be a progression. This one exercise, or this menu is mainly about getting your upper body, sit back over your hips, and be symmetrical while we're working on gently building hip stability and the kinetic chain between your upper body and lower body. So to do that, we're going to alternate between uh, exercises where you're holding the pillow between your knees and exercises where you've got like a belt. So you can take an actual belt or a yoga strap or a towel or anything that you can tie around your knees, okay? And we're going to alternate between that as we do different things with our arms. So the first one, you'll take that pillow, put it between your knees, sit up straight, push down with your hands lightly so that engages your abs. And you'll push in on the pillow 60 times, okay, while pushing down lightly with your hands. <coughs> Feet hip apart and straight. Upper back, your upper body should sit like this. We've got like just a little bit of arc in your lower back, okay. Then you'll switch out the pillow and put a strap around your knees. Sit up straight, same thing, pushing down lightly with your hands. And you push out 60 times. And you should feel most of the work right in your where your back pocket would be. Okay? Then you keep that strap on your knees and you're gonna do cats and dogs in a seated position. So remember that was rolling, arcing through your whole back and then rounding. Arcing and rounding. And I know the flexion was a tricky thing for you um, because at first you were trying to go down by staying arcing your upper in your lower back and then trying to flex from there. And that is really why the sag pin happened in the first place. Um, so we're going to try to retrain the movement of the spine to be symmetrical like that. So you'll do 15 with the strap around your knees, switch it out. Do 15 with the pillow in between your knees, okay? Really full, smooth motions. Inhaling as you look up, exhaling as you round down, okay? Then um, you're going to switch that out. Take the strap, put it back around your knees. You're going to pull up and hold an overhead extension. Okay, so your ears or your your uh, arms really close to your ears. Your biceps touching your ears ideally. So you're going to really straight and hold the strap, pressing out for one minute. Okay, then change it into arm circles. Switch. Uh, you can do either the strap or the pillow. You just want to alternate and really work both sides of the hips. Okay. We'll do 40 forward, squeezing your shoulder blades together, and then 40 backward. And try to avoid the tendency of like, a lot of people when they squeeze their shoulder blades together, they also jut their midsection forward. That's not necessary. We're just sitting up, rolling our hips forward like usual, squeezing our shoulder blades together, circling forward 40 times, and backwards 40 times, with our knuckles clenched in what's called the golfer's grip. Okay? So, um, that exercise series I want you to try to do um, for at least like three days in a row, okay? And you can do it multiple times a day. And check how you feel, how your weight feels before and after those exercises. We want to see that shift happen with the tingling in your foot goes away and your weight feels more even left to right. After you've done those exercises for like three days, then you can also start to try to incorporate um, a little bit more progression and add back in the wall start that I had to do where your foot was up on a chair and your back was against a wall. And you're standing really tall, okay? Just holding that position for one minute and switching, teaching your body to be aligned vertically. So you can add the wall start. You can also add um, the sitting windmill. So with a strap around your knees, you know, hold your arms up and tilt gently from one side to the other. If you feel pain in this as you go to the side, don't do it, okay? But uh, hopefully after a few days of doing those other exercises, we'll get enough hip stability to be able to do it uh, functionally. Try to keep weight even on both sides of your butt, okay? And tilt from the base of the spine. The arms stay right at 90 degrees relative to the torso, okay? So you'll do 20 tilts, each way, and then the wall stork. 
So after you do that for about a, ten, a week to 10 days total, um, let's check back in, give me a call, and report how you're doing on it. If you have any questions about any of the exercises, um, just let me know. And yeah, for about seven to 10 days of doing that routine, um, it'd be good to take another look at you and see where you're at. Also feel free to do the supine growing stretch and static back any time that you want to get uh, pain relief. Um, those are described in the book, and I think you're familiar with them already. There's also um, one other thing you can do for pain relief, uh, the air bench, which is also in that routine. So this guy who's sitting against any sort of flat wall where your feet are hip width apart, your weight's in your heels, your lower back is pressed flat against the wall, and you're just sitting there building up your leg strength. Okay, so 30 seconds, one minute, minute and a half, two minutes as you as you develop strength and being able to do that. That one though, I want you to um, I want you to wait on until you've done the routine for the seven to ten days and check back in. Because I wanna um, I wanna be there to uh, you know assess the effect, the postural effect of that exercise. But if you if you feel like experimenting with it and you notice that oh, yeah, that got me out of pain, then feel free to use that one as well. Okay? Cool. Um, yeah, just check back in with me throughout the week and let me know how it's going. Thanks. Bye.